In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can integrate ChatGPT, DALI and Perplexity into Google Sheets. And the reason why that can be so incredible and so good for your workflow is that you can start doing things like this, where for our online community, the AI Ranking and Automation Hub, I've given them a whole template using these integrations that generates you a complete SEO content pillar, including the keyword research, um, and all segmented it into pillar into five different pillars. And if we segment into the pillars, we have those keywords, the frequently asked questions for those keywords, we give those keywords to keywords and they're frequently asked questions about those keywords that was generated by perplexity to GPT. It creates the blog as you see here, creates the feature image for that blog, the LinkedIn post for that blog, even the Facebook post for that blog. Being able to input all these, these technologies relatively cheaply because you're just using the API into Google Sheets can be a life changer. Now, what I'm going to provide to you in the video description below is the script, the app script that you need to do that you need to place into your Google Sheets to make this happen. It's very easy to do that app script will be in the description of this video below completely to you for free. The main aspect that the main functionality is that this app script is going to provide to you is be able to do three main things, which I'm going to show you now. That is to be able to call GPT by going equals GPT and you put the prompt in inverted brackets. For example, tell me a joke. And I close that prompt uh, with inverted commas and then I close the whole function. That's going to give me in a second that you go a silly little joke. So that's chat GPT. Let's call him perplexity now equals perplexity. Same again, I do my quotes for the search, my prompt for the search in inverted commas, um, who won the 200 meter men's sprint in the 2024 Olympics. I ask that because I know that's very new information, at least as of the time of this recording, and that's gonna give me a result. Beautiful, so I've got that now and that's right. And finally, let's call in Dali. And we're gonna go equals Dali and we're going to give it a prompt. Here we've just said an image of the 200 meter men's sprint race at the 24 Olympics, and we close that brackets, and now Dali is generating that for us. Now, one thing here, this is going to give us the only the URL which is hosting the image to be able to insert the image into the Google Sheet, you need to do one more thing, which is equals image, and then you reference the cell that's going to have this URL that we see now and close that, and that's going to input the image there. So, and now you see it here. Ta da! Within a matter of seconds, we have uh, <laughs> GPT, we have perplexity, and we have DALI, and we pulled that information in through. So really cool. This stuff allows you then create um, create templates like we've done here for our online community group. Uh, you can check out some information about the online community group. It's a community that helps you and supports you into ranking your website number one with the help of artificial intelligence, like using tools like this. And the community gets this whole template because they asked for it and we provided that for them. But, but back to the main thing, how do you install this into your Google Sheets provide with the app script provided? You're going to start a brand new Google Sheet like this, and you're going to then go to extensions and go to apps script. Now we've provided the app script in the format of a text file below in the video description. You just need to copy it, go back into the app script, delete this stuff here and paste it as it is. And you're going to go to save. And you see here that we're actually using GPT-40 mini. That's just because that's going to save us a lot of money. We don't want you to use Turbo or, or any of the other newer models. You could use this technically with um, Claude because it is a very good content copywriter. However, calling the API for Claude various times is an absolute nightmare. It has a heart attack all the time. So. Now that this is saved, you can call this app script project if you want something else. GPT call, I don't know, and go rename. Now that's being saved. Go back to your Google Sheet and I want you to reset it because when you reset it, you're gonna see that you're gonna have a little extra menu here in a second, AI Assistant. Hmm, things are starting to get interesting. If you click the AI Assistant, you need to do a couple of things. If you wanna know how to use it, we've detailed the instructions there. 
you need to authorize this thing because it's a brand new application that Google doesn't recognize, but that's okay. Once you authorize everything and go to allow, you go back to the assistant and go how to use. And it's gonna run the script and tell you. You need to set your API keys and that's pretty much it. Don't worry, I'm gonna go through how to do that now. So this integration is free, but using this whole thing technically isn't free because you're using API keys or calls from Perplexity and ChatGPT. However, they're so cheap that it's worth it for what you're doing. We're gonna click set API keys and it's gonna tell you, enter your OpenAI API key. Pretty simple. Where do you get that? I'll leave a link in the video description below on this link here, the API keys within your platform dashboard. In API keys, you go to, you probably get taken to this first. You're gonna to go to dashboard. You're gonna click API keys here, create a new API key. Let's go test. Let's go YouTube example, hit create secret key and it's gonna give you this specific API key. You're gonna copy it. Now, don't use this API key that I've got up here because I'm gonna delete it after this video for security purposes. So we're gonna go back to our Google Sheet and we're gonna place it into here and go okay. Now you're gonna get one more pop-up that says now give me your perplexity key. Where do you get that? You need to go to perplexity. You need to go to your perplexity account, go to the settings menu and then go to API. Again, you need to have your payment details installed in this. You don't need a pro account for perplexity, but you do need your payment details to be able to use the API for perplexity. If you don't have an API key, like I do have here, you generate one. And again, you copy that API key, you go back to your Google Sheet and you enter it here. And now you go, okay. Now you get a correct confirmation message that says your API keys have been saved. Perfect, now what can you do? Well, you can do some really, really interesting things. For example, you can call perplexity by going equals perplexity, perplexity, and let's quickly create a blog about the 200 meter race that happened in, um, in the Paris Olympic games recently. But I'm gonna ask you to give me a detailed breakdown of the 200 meter men's race in the Paris uh, Olympics. And I'm going to, hit enter and perplexity should come back with me with some research for me. I'm going to prepare chat GPT now. So I've got my whole detailed here. It's got the winner, the silver medalist and the bronze medalist. Fantastic, uh, notable aspects. So I've got a lot of information here. In the next column over, I can now call GPT equals GPT and ask it, okay, taking, this, taking the following information, create a news article about this. I close the prompt. I need to now refer to the cell with all the research. I do that by uh, pressing on the ampersand symbol and then referencing the cell with all the information. And then I close the entire function. Now that's calling ChatGPT, giving it the information and doing everything else appropriately. We should see perfect. Everything happens in a little while. Obviously those are very poor prompts with a good prompt. You can tell it the tone of voice, the output length and how you want to format it. But for the purpose of this video, that's good enough. Now we can do a couple of things. We're going to call Dali. Quality image of the last meters of the two hundred Uh, we're gonna ask to create an image that we can use for this prompt. Again, that's gonna give us the link only. So we can now call the image while that's being generated by equals image. Going enter and then referring the cell that's gonna have our link. Something's gonna happen here as well for you. It's gonna say some formula trying to send and retrieve data from external parties. You're gonna allow access. That's going to allow you to bring in the photo that we see here. We're going to just change the format so it's up above. And now we've got our research that's up to date because we did it with perplexity. We've got our blog. We've got our image here as well, which I think is pretty cool. I think, it, I think this opens up for a lot of possibilities depending on what you need to do. 
I'll give you a little tip as well. If you want to change anything, the formatting, the answering of ChatGPT or the formatting of the images, for example, all you need to do is have a close look at the Google Apps script that I've generated for you and given and provided for you below. You, for example, if we want, if we want to change, for example, the size of the images that get generated automatically, we can do that here. Uh, if we want to change the way in which uh, the way in which perplexity answers for example we've taught it to act like an seo research assistant because that's what we do in this channel you can change it there as well but that's the whole thing you need to make this your own it's not that scary once you get into it and it's extremely useful again if you really want to know how to maximize these things to really absolutely demolish your competition with your search engine optimization with your seo with these ai tools you can check out our community the ai ranking automation hub i'll leave a link to that in the description below there's a bunch of things not only that uh complete google sheet that creates the content pillars is there but more importantly the whole classroom where you can learn everything there is to know about ai powered automations and twice a week we have meetings where you can ask us questions we also have special guests coming in there i'll leave the description I'll leave all that stuff in the video description below. But if you don't want access to that, that's completely fine, okay? But I do ask that if you found a value in this video at all, please give me a like and a subscribe. That helps the channel a lot. Cheers, have a good day.